The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. has a lot of benefits. Um, it's sending me to college for free here at uh, Ivy Tech. Yes. Um, great benefits, insurance. Yeah, it's a good experience. The insurance is really worthwhile. I'm retired Air Force and the um, having TRICARE, it's worth the time to have that. For sure. Because you're taking care of you and your yeah. family the rest of your life. That's right. So it's a good thing to spend your, and you can learn things you can't learn in any place else, because um, the Air Force is quite high tech, so we're, we're up to date. I would, I would highly recommend it. Yep. Good, good. Just, and how do they get a hold of the Air Force if they, they have been interested? Is there a number? Yes, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but okay. we do have a website. If you Google 122nd Fighter Wing Recruiting, it'll pop up. Um, there'll be a phone number, social media accounts that you can follow and contact them on. I do have some like uh, business cards here too if you want to take one. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a good one. You too. Oh, the tail, the tail section. Um, 
Supply. She's okay, hammered. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> civil engineering. So did you um, build Sorry. things? Sorry. What? what did you do in civil I actually uh, took care of them in the supply area. Oh, okay. So their kits and stuff back in the... In the gotcha. Area. Okay. And your penny, is this your husband? Yeah, this yeah. is my husband. Yes. And your name is? Johnny. John, okay. And um, yeah, you work here in Fort Wayne? You retired? Or what? Retired from the fire department. Fire department. Uh -huh. yeah. well, congratulations. Yep. That's good. Hey. Make sure you get this. I'm hammered too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! No, we're having Holy a good cow. time. We're yeah, we are. We are. So I um, tin bar out here um, when I was of service. Okay. So and um, we're familiar with all this. That's why we're here, I think. Good. So. And who do we have here? Good. Friends, this is Cindy and Mike. Cindy and Mike. Okay. Yeah, it goes without saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. We're all here at the base and. Um, um, tell us what's going on. This is our first interview. So tell us oh my gosh. what's happening today. Um, the air show is happening today, okay. which it we is. love. Uh -huh. And um, there's so many um, beautiful planes out there. Yeah. And the Thunderbirds are it, here. Yeah, the yep. Thunderbirds are here, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Which is one of my favorite groups. Yes. Actually, to fly here. Yes. And it's been a few years, I think, since they've been here, right? Oh, it has been a few years. Yes, it has been a few years. Uh -huh. So I remember when I joined in 1999. The Thunderbirds were one of the first groups that came out here and flew, I think. So. Good. Yeah, absolutely. So. Good. They're very good. Um, I have some things in my hand here. Oh my gosh. Oh what is that? It looks like I have three silks. Oh my gosh. It's a 
Red, white, and blue. What does pen? What does red, white, and blue remind you of? That's a flag. Our flag. Yes, yeah, that's cool. cool. Watch close. All right. Oh, that's so awesome. Good for you. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That is He's been so practicing awesome. all his life. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I've been practicing for a while. That's Actually, I've only um, been doing magic since about 2005. And um, you, um, anyone can learn magic. Okay. In my TV show, it shows that... I, I do Las Vegas type magic, but anybody can do any magic. There's like three levels, easy, medium, and hard. Okay. Of course, solo lady and hard, and half is a little harder. But uh, there's a lot of real easy magic anybody we can do. We should probably start a little lower than that. Well, I know half this, yet. this yeah. particular trick I just slow. did um, is, is <laughs> level one. Oh, we need okay. level one. Level, that's easiest, yeah. the easiest that's level right there is. Yeah. Yeah. We might be able to handle that. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have any tips so on that. how to do a level yes. one trick? Oh, Put yeah. something in your yeah. pocket and you pull you it out. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Level one. Can we do a level one trick? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's going to show us a level one trick. Oh. That's okay. Right. It's okay. Well, now, don't make me levitate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is, this holds so many, have you ever heard of the Berlin Airlift? The Berlin Airlift took about a week to pick the people up and, and rescue them from Berlin. They could have done it with this plane, with just 17 planes. This is so big. Yeah, yeah. You can easily put another plane inside this one. Yeah. Would you want to push Oh. Whoa. Well, I'm sorry. No, it's the. Is that what you told us? Now you can. Okay, this is what you strap cargo down with. Okay? You actually have 10,000 pound straps that hooks onto these, these, um, these winches, and then you just tighten them down. An airplane can actually turn totally upside down, and it'll hold the cargo from not falling loose. So, That's awesome! They call them chains and devices, okay? If we can get over there, I'll explain one to you. Yeah, I'm reporting. Yeah, there's um, they call this the black snake. If you look at the head, it looks like a snake. Okay, and they call. See, this says black snake, Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's what they call black snake. And um, this is what's called an A10. It's called a warthog. Okay, the warthog itself. Um, is a tank destroyer weapon. It's designed to destroy tanks. Then the tank never gets a chance to see the plane. It actually fires what's called a uh, Mark 85 missile. And the Mark 85 has a camera in the missile and it goes out and you can see through the missile where it's going. So the tank never gets a chance to shoot at the airplane. So the tank don't have a chance to knock it down. It's really one of the best tank destroyers that you have. You have one of these and tanks don't have a chance. You know, on the front of this gun, this is actually a 50 caliber machine gun. Okay, the bullets are huge. You can actually shoot for 10 seconds and it'll chew a tank up. And the pieces will only be this big after 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah, it'll chew the whole tank totally up. Isn't that something? That is something. Here's where they put the missiles. Right. You want to hang them. Okay. That missile you see right there. That's cool. This is supposed to be dead. Because we don't want us to take off. When they drop that, it'll. I'm sorry, it's a 500 pound 
Park 85, it's called. And you, you drop that, and it, it'll make a huge hole. In fact, if you dropped it on the runway here, it would make a hole as big as four semis. You could actually put four semis in, in that hole that dropped. That is so awesome. So, and it's really, ar really armored. It's so armored that if you're inside the cockpit, it's armored with titanium. So you can shoot. You can shoot at that and not not hit the pilot. And the same with the engines. They're titanium. Wow, this is pleating me. Hey, Wesley. Hey. Yeah. Wow, hey. Seeking Hong to Orange. No, nope. it's not on. Not on, okay. Great. Man, this is... It's big in there, isn't it? Yeah, you can hold like three people. Look at the top. On above you, that's actually a turret. Oh! See, you can open that up, stand up, and shoot a machine gun. Wow, that's a turret. Yeah. This is pretty neat. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah. But it'd, be, it'd be fun to drive, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> okay. Be careful getting down. That's quite a ways up. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. They'll be flying over in a couple minutes. This is pretty cool. See that one plane? The little one there, that's a F-35. See this one right here? Yeah.
Hartford as well. And of course, on board members of the Special Operations Command Parachute Team, the Paracommandos from McDill Air Force Base uh, in Tampa, Florida. So as you see, as it makes its way off to the left-hand side, you'll see that the ramp uh, is indeed open. And if you've got some really good ice, you might see little dots up there. And those are, of course, the jumpers. And they are currently looking at those streamers that are making their way to the I'm a chief, actually. I'm say about 2,000 feet of this right now. Those streamers, as I mentioned, are made out of a lightweight weight paper. And there's a little bit of a weight at the end that, as I mentioned earlier, allows the jumpers on board. Jerry here. I got some very important news to tell you about, but first, I'm going to show you that something can come out of nothing. I got blue, red, and white. I'm going to put that back in my hand. You know what that reminds me of? It's red, white, and blue. Reminds me of the American flag. Isn't that something? Look at that. There it is. There. Now, American flag, like we always kind of know. Fun time, like 4th of July, things like that. But we got a special event coming up. It's from Wesley's TV. It's called Fun and Sun at the Park. Okay, and uh, so please join all of us and all Wesley's crew and Wesley um, on Thursday, June 28th this year from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Lakeside Park Pavilion. And it'll be number two pavilion for a fun summer day with Wesley TV. We will have entertainment such as food and snacks and activities for all ages and a lot, lot more. Please stay tuned for more information coming soon and please follow us on Facebook at Wesley TV, which would be or Wesley's TV Community Outreach Events for more details. But remember, this is gonna be at Lakeside Park Pavilion number two, and the, the address is 1401 Lake Avenue in Fort Wayne. And when? It's going to be Tuesday, June 28, 2022, from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we'll look for you then. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles If you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside There's a better life There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker if you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, a savior, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. We've all searched for the light of day and the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight We've all run to things we know just ain't right And there's a better life There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost He's a way maker if you need freedom, the Savior He's a present shaking Savior If you got chains, oh He's a chain breaker If you believe it, if you receive it If you can feel it, somebody testify Believe it, you receive it. You can feel it. Somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel love 
The purpose of the Tapia ceremony is a significant milestone and isn't necessarily started with the start or the end of a building construction. The ceremony is associated with the raising of the last beam, hence the name Topping Off. Having a tree strapped to the beam signifies bringing life into the building and to provide a positive omen for everyone involved in the construction project. It's also considered a way to give blessings to those who work or receive care inside of the building. I think that's really important to us. That blessing because there are a lot of people who are going to be coming here in their most trying times of their life. So this blessing is very important to us as we move forward to it. I think the key to the topping out to me is about the blessing it brings to the building for future occupants to be able to be and receive safe care here. It's about the quality of care we provide and will provide in the future. And it's really that milestone that we're heading in that direction. I did sign the beam, I uh, was proud to do so. It's humbling actually to think that you will forever be part of something, that you will be tied to it for the future years to come, long after you're even probably part of it. It's a very humbling exercise really. Signing the beam was fantastic because it really meant this project, it's unstoppable. And I've always known that with Parkview, we are unstoppable and this community deserves that. And so this topping off ceremony is just the icing on the cake until we get to open the doors. Topping out for me means the continued growth of Parkview. It means the continued growth into the community and the support of the community. Warsaw and Kosciuszko as a whole has been so supportive of Parkview as we've gone through this. You know, this is a long time coming. We opened up six years ago. The community immediately began asking, when are you gonna have inpatient beds? When are you gonna have surgery? And so those six years have been phenomenal in this community. And to be able to say we've topped off our expansion project to include those services and more is great. I think the importance of taking care of patients in the community and um, giving them the things they need and not having to make the drive or having to get the transport timely to get them care at be it Parkview Whitley or in, in Allen County is going to be huge. We're going to be able to offer those services right here in uh, Warsaw. Those grateful patients are always the key to what keeps us going. I think what it means to them is safety. We are a safety net hospital. We provide care to everyone. It will be a place where hopefully they feel like their loved ones can come and receive care and they feel like they're safe while they're there. As we open, um, looking forward to growing, growing our team, growing our nursing team, growing uh, our patient care team uh, across the board. Definitely going to be challenging, but uh, looking forward to meeting new people. We can't wait to open our doors. 2023 can't come soon enough and I look to our next expansion project. I think that this is just the beginning for Parkview Kosciuszko. I think there's much more for us to do and grow in this community, and I'm excited to see where it takes us. are completing some pre-flight checks at the end of the runway, and once they are ready, they will take to the sky. Soon you will hear Thunderbird 1 command the pilots to run up their engines as they accelerate down the runway from your right to your left. Lieutenant Colonel Elliott will then demonstrate the superior thrust to weight ratio of the F-16 by immediately pulling the nose up into the vertical, performing the diamond loop bond takeoff. As the planes lift off the ground, watch for our slot pilot, Major Zane Taylor. They'll move quickly from the right wing into the slot position, forming the famous Thunderbird behind it. Following the diamond takeoff, you will see Thunderbird 6 taking off from the right. We will take off and execute a media 360 degree aileron roll at low no altitude. Following Thunderbird 6, Thunderbird 5 will take off from the right. Immediately pull 60 degrees into the vertical and perform a split X, reversing its direction all while still over the road.
Jerry here. I got some very important news to tell you about, but first, I'm going to show you that something can come out of nothing. I got blue, red, and white. I'm going to put that back in my hand. You know what that reminds me of? Red, white, and blue? Reminds me of the American flag. Isn't that something? Look at that. There it is. There. Now, American flag, like we always kind of know, fun time, like 4th of July, things like that. But we got a special event coming up. It's from Wesley's TV. It's called Fun and Sun at the Park. Okay, and uh, so please join all of us and all Wesley's crew and Wesley um, on Thursday, June 28th this year from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Lakeside Park Pavilion. And it'll be number two pavilion for a fun summer day with Wesley TV. We will have entertainment such as food and snacks and activities for all ages and a lot, lot more. Please stay tuned for more information coming soon. And please follow us on Facebook at Wesley TV, which would be or Wesley's TV Community Outreach Events for more details. And remember, this is going to be at Lakeside Park, Pavilion Number Two, and the, the address is 1401 Lake Avenue in Fort Wayne. And when it's going to be Tuesday, June 28, 2022, from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we'll look for you then. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles If you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside There's a better life There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker if you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, a savior, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. We've all searched for the light of day and the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight And we've all run to things we know just ain't right And there's a better life There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost He's a way maker if you need freedom, a savior He's a present shaking savior If you got chains, oh he's a chain breaker If you believe it, if you receive it If you can feel it, somebody testify Believe it, you receive it. You can feel it. Somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel love, I need a way maker. 
wonder how he kept that thing. <laughs>
long There's one day here and the next day gone Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand Sometimes you turn your back to the wind There's a world outside every darkened door Where blues won't haunt you anymore Where the brave are free and lovers soar Come ride with me to the distant shore We won't hesitate 